हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक ऑल ऑफ यू माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू अवर न्यू वीडियो नाउ इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव जस्ट गिवन यू द इंट्रोडक्शन रिलेटेड टू द इंडस्ट्रीज नाउ इन अवर टूडेज वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट द थ्री सेक्टर्स ऑफ अवर इकोनॉमी एंड वॉट इज द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दिस थ्री सेक्टर्स रिलेटेड टू द इंडस्ट्रीज दैट आर इन द नेशन and we will also look at the impact of the development of the industries on the overall economy of a particular country or a nation and we will also discuss about what are the different sectors and we will also discuss about the types of different industries so let's begin we have to study three sectors and three types of industries so first of all we will learn about the sectors now the sectors of economy now in this sectors if there are three sectors basically regarding to the economy okay economy it means a particular output of an entire country okay how much net worth of a country is like it is called as the economy and it is kind of categorized into three different types mainly the first one is the primary sector the second one is the secondary sector and the third one is tertiary sector now in all of three different sectors we have to learn what types of economies are involved in this three sectors so first of all primary sector it means it is all dealing with the nature now what is the basic meaning of this thing is that whatever we get from nature we will cultivate that in the nature only and we will use that material that we are growing to earn money for example agriculture right what do we do we will cultivate these things in nature we get all these resources in nature and we do all the work there only and when the output of this thing is taken we will take this thing and we will go into market and we will sell now this is how we produce income in a particular sector in this primary sector that is called as agricultural sector right so this is primary and most intensive work is done in agricultural field that is why this primary sector is also called as agricultural sector then like you see here it is dealing all with the nature only now here we can do certain processes that involve some technical materials and scientific tools right we will use technology like tractors then we will use uh, technology in form of biotech right you see chemical fertilizers we will use for some purpose and we will use organic fertilizers also so whatever processes are done over here in this sector are all related to the nature and whatever the output will be and that output we will be using for earning the money the next thing is mining where do we do mining we do it on the land itself right so mining is also a form of primary sector activity what we do here is that we will go in particular areas where there are minerals and resources of mineral are more in that places so we will go there we will uh, do the excavation work and we will take out this different minerals and then we will sell these things now when we will sell it what will happen we will also generate an income out of it so that is why you see mining is also a type of primary sector activity of the economy of a particular nation then if in that nation in the geographical area if in that area there is a lot of like there are a lot of different minerals and ores so what can happen if the number of minerals is more then we can excavate more things over here then we can sell to another people 
and by doing that we will get a lot of income through this particular source so that is why you see primary is one of the most important sector in this economy then the next is fishing now what do we do fishing fishing is also related to the nature we get fish uh, fish from the nature only so that is why this is also important sector of an economy and what we do of it we will use it for eating purpose now when we sell this thing like you see we do not produce them on our own it is just that we go into the oceans into the sea or into the rivers and we catch this thing and then we will sell them into the markets so that is how you see this is also related with the nature so basically what you have to understand here is that primary sectors deal with all the nature that is there whatever we will get from nature this is what we are going to sell and we will be selling this item and earning money from that particular thing so primary sector then let's come to the secondary sector what is this thing secondary sector is also called as the industrial sector now as we have discussed in our previous uh, video regarding the function of this industry what does it do it converts the raw materials right raw material into finished products right finished products so this task is done by the industries and that is why this is kind of very important for us now when we talk about raw materials where will we get this raw material from that is a matter of concern because if we don't have raw material then what will we convert into the finished products that is the question right so raw materials we will get it from the primary sector right i hope you know the importance of these things if we don't get raw material then how could we produce finished product and how could we sell this product in the markets and how could we earn money from that so this is why raw materials are really very important in this chain and due to this uh, raw material uh, sorry due to this industry only we can add value like you see that is why you see we call it as value addition okay the secondary industry is also called as the sector of economy which does the work of value addition so that is why we will get raw materials from the primary sector from agriculture mining and fishing and we will use these things in the industries and we will do some processing on this thing and then we will convert them into finished products or goods and then when this finished products are created this is how or this is when we will sell them into the markets to the consumers and when these consumers will take these things they will pay the money for it so that is why you see that is how this secondary market is also important for us because it adds the value to the primary sources or the primary sector and the material that we get from this primary sector the next thing is tertiary sector now this is called as service sector now in this sector there is no product involved like manufacturing of product is not involved okay products are involved but manufacturing of this products is not involved because what has the like where has manufacturing been it has been over in the industries so industrial sectors will create what we call as finished products where will this finished products go these products will go into the market in the tertiary sector so that is why you see here tertiary sectors are the markets now in this market we don't create anything we don't kind of manufacture anything or we don't uh, grow something in like we do in the primary sector but in this sector what happens is that we are providing our service like if you want to buy an oreo biscuit let's say for an example what you will do 
you will go into a store okay and you will ask the uncle who is sitting over there to give you that oreo biscuit then this uncle will go he will walk around his shop he will get that product from the shelf and he will come back to you and he will give that thing to you now what you will do you have taken the biscuits and you will give the money in exchange so you are not giving money to the industries who have made it you are you are also not giving the money to the farmers who have made the wheat and all these things as raw materials that was used in the biscuits but whom you are giving the money you are giving that money to the person who has given you the service right now what that uncle have done in the shop he has done nothing he has not produced the biscuit he has also not worked in agricultural fields to produce this raw material so he has just stand up from his place and he have to go towards the shelf and he have to give that thing to you uh, in your hands that is how work uh, like that that much work he has done in this entire chain of the process and you have given the money to this man so that is why you see what he has done he has given you the service so this is what is the tertiary sector okay service is what provided in this part of economy now this doesn't involve any kind of manufacturing of product okay it doesn't involve manufacture okay we do not manufacture anything in this place we will just sell this uh, services to others like you see what do we do in hospitals okay what is the function of doctor what do what does he do he doesn't sell us any product he doesn't kind of give us any kind of stuff for eating or for drinking but what he does is that he will help us with the knowledge he have so hospitals and these different service providing companies or uh, not companies yeah service providing companies will be considered as the tertiary sector like you see software development software is not a physical thing it is really very uh, kind of uh, just coding is done and then they are selling it to the customers so this code is not physical but it still does its work and that is why you see that comes under the category of service now education whatever we are doing like we means teacher and the schools are doing schools are not providing any kind of product to the children they are giving them the mindset okay they are giving them the words and that there is a value of word so that is why you see it also generates the income for the people who are providing this words that is why again you see there is an income source in tertiary sector so economy basically means how can we earn money from somewhere right what is the net worth of a particular place or a particular nation now if all of these three sectors are very developed in a particular country then this country will be very rich or what we can say it will be developed a nation okay what is the difference between developed and developing nation okay developed and developing nation developed nation have a very healthy balance of these three sectors okay there will be industries there will be agricultural output there will be good amount of natural resources in the land over there and there will be also the service sector in that country and what is the developing nations the developing nations will be kind of in phase of developing all this uh, infrastructural and the a uh, flow of the products from here to the consumer so that is why you see there are the de difference between developed and developing nation is determined by the development of this three sectors and if we talk about undeveloped nations what will come under them undeveloped nations will have less income from the primary sector it means they will have less agricultural output less mining and less fishing uh, output and due to that due to unavailability of the raw material they will not have the development of this secondary industry uh, secondary sector and due to that what will happen the tertiary sector will be also impacted and this uh, if the markets are not full with the uh, finished products then what these people have to do these people have to buy the things from the another 
country and when they buy from another country what will happen the country who is purchasing it will give its money to the another country and what in that what will happen is that the transfer of money will occur and due to this transfer of wealth from one country to another country one country will get poor and another country will get rich in that case so that is the importance of these three sectors and the development of all of this in our entire nation so this is all about three sectors of economy and in the next video we will be learning about uh, three types of industries what are they and how is the impact of all of these things on the lives of the people and the job opportunities that will be available in a particular country so that is what we will be learning in our next video until then have a nice day and bye